prepare yourself for a real dumpster fire. And of course, yes, the video is about Flat Earth. First of all, I want to thank all my patrons, members, donors and subscribers. All of you are important for me. Thank you very much. Yesterday I published a video where I looked at the Flat Earth channel Flat Earth and Kofi and the video was his 9 reasons why he thinks that satellites are fake. And of course that one was a dumpster fire. This time I will look at several of the Flat Earth Coffee's videos. I will not look at the whole videos, but I will show he's a typical Flat Earther repeating what he heard from other channels and he do not make any own research. The first video is titled Who are they? A great question? But will he give a sensible answer? Let's see. Hey guys, Bobby Thompson back with another video. And in this video, I wanted to talk about who they are. If you've seen some of my videos or some other people's videos uh, who talk about this fringe conspiracy that I love to talk about, <clears throat> you may hear uh, the term they referenced. So who are they? Well, we're going to get into that in this video. This video is 1 hour and 50 minutes. I will play a part from the beginning and some parts I will speed up. Don't worry, I will not show the whole video. And before we get started, I wanted to start with my favorite quote by Rene Descartes, which goes, If you would be a real seeker after truth, it is necessary that at least once in your life you doubt, as far as possible, all things. That said, let's get started. Uh, an excerpt from one of William Shakespeare's plays, All the World is a Stage. And that could not be more true. And hopefully you'll uh, start to see that. I'm going to throw in a few Bible quotes just to set the context, right? Just to, um, so that this makes sense as we move forward. I'll make them quick. There's only going to be four or five, I think. Um, Pope Edward was familiar with 666, right? What that represents. Here's wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, 3 score, and 6. The score is 20 in, in biblical terms, so 3 score, 60, 666, that's where that comes from, Revelation 13, 18. I always use the King James Version. Another um, excerpt from the Bible. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And that was Jesus referencing what he, how he saw Satan falling from heaven, uh, looking, appearing as lightning. And that's from Luke 10, 18. Against whom do you sport yourselves? Against whom make you a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are you not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? And this is in reference to those who stick out their tongue, right? The all mocking tongue. This is from Isaiah 57, 4. That was a quote from King James Version. And one other reference, um, and although it's not mentioned in the Bible or the, or the Quran, in Islamic eschatology, Al Dajjal, the deceiver, is a one eyed, false messianic figure who will appear at the time of the Great Tribulation. Uh, and that's according to the Islamic Hadith literature. And the Hadith uh, are the sayings attributed to the Prophet Muhammad. And they form a secret literature which for the Muslims ranks second in importance only to the Quran itself. Um, so this is akin to the, uh, the Talmud for uh, the name that we cannot say. Eleven, we, we dial it when there's emergencies. We, you know, you've 9 11 you see it in movies obviously it was the biggest one of the biggest things to happen in the united states it also just happens to be a passage uh, in the bible so revelation 9 11 and they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in the hebrew tongue is abaddon but in the greek tongue hath his name apollyon so apollyon apollo abaddon they all start with a which is a vector Right? A, a can be represented as a vector. You'll hear me say vector symbolism. So this, which you may know as OK, as did I, <clears throat> it also looks like three sixes, ironically. Right? It, it certainly, it could be. So let's move forward. <clears throat> Interesting slide I made. His servants openly pay homage to him. Then we know that he's a Christian flat author who is surprised. And he is one of the nutcases that thinks that 9-11 is a hoax. And the answer to who they are and why obviously have something to do with Satan. 
and hand signs. Okay, let's look a bit more on the video. I will speed some parts up. <clears throat> Interesting slide I made. His servants openly pay homage to him. Let's see if that's true. Look at a few industries. Let's start with Hollywood. Adrian Brody, great actor. Interesting way to hold your hat. I, I've never held a hat like that. Um, look at this one eye symbolism combined with triple sixes. All right, we're just we're just going to go on the pretense of what I said. This uh, in these previous slides um, hold some truth. Triple sixes again. Uh, this I did not talk about, but we'll, we'll just call it the master of the second veil. taking a bite of the apple well, that, if that's not a biblical reference I don't know what is that's obviously she was she played that role in a movie this nonsense goes on for one hour and 40 minutes he's showing this type of images of famous people actors politicians and so on so now he showed who they are but why let's listen to a part of the end of this video in order to answer the question of why they would lie, you must first honestly suppose that this is, this is, sorry about that, but let's, um, this comes from another slide or something. I was a different direction. I was going to go with this slide. Well, let's go back. You know, it's in there. That's they, right? They is always in reference to why would they lie? Well, now let's, let's look at why. Let's look at why they would lie. In order to answer the question of why they would lie, you must first honestly suppose the earth is flat and entertain it. Just now let's go back and let's say all these people are hiding something. They can keep a secret. They're, they're openly, uh, you may not see it, but they're openly uh, um, paying homage to Satan. Certainly looks that way to me. Um, you can find these photos of anyone any famous person in the world, I don't care who, it, I don't care on what stage they're famous. They can be a politician, they can be a, an athlete, they can be an actor, they can be a singer, they can be a religious figure, they can be a military figure, I don't care. If you dig deep enough, you'll find every single, you'll, you'll find them doing this pose intentionally. It is intentional. You're just not awake if you don't see this. Now, entertain the fact, just entertain. If you entertain, you might see something come together that might open your path in a, as, into being a truther, or maybe at least you'll just understand something, that you, whether, whether you believe in it or not, understand. And after this, he goes on with the Bible quotes, uh, talking about the names of stars, the names of the days of the week, and but they don't give any sensible explanation okay he thinks they worship the devil and so on oh they are so damn stupid why are they hiding flat earth his intention was to explain who they are and why and he made an almost two hour long video and did he succeed of course not if you don't believe me you believe that i was dishonest when I showed them the video, I will link the complete video in the description. Let's move on to the next video. All right, so east-west circumnavigation done millions of times. It's done every day, flights uh, circumnavigate the, the Earth in an east-west fashion, right? But what's not done is circumnavigation in a north-south fashion. And here's an example of this. There's, there, there are tons of websites like this. Flight Radar 24 is just one of them, but you can go there and you can get flight statistics from flights all over the world and see all the flights in the air on any given day, which is what this is. And what you'll always see is that they're all confined to this area. Um, and this is all east and west traffic, right? You, what you don't see is flights over here and down here. They're not traversing east and west. Of course, you self-navigate south 
to north and so on. And the population on Earth is quite concentrated to the center, to the equator of the Earth. We are not so many people living far north or far south. And no airplanes down south and up north. Look at this image. They are very far north. This plane is going from Tokyo to Frankfurt. I also find it interesting how massive Antarctic is here. Like what's, uh, does that make sense? Anyway. Yes, it makes sense. If you understand what you're looking at, it's a map projections of a globe. Um, but so flights, flights, all flights circumnavigate our earth in an east west fashion, which is perfectly doable. As we saw in the previous videos, the previous explanation that works fine on a flat earth. What does not work on a flat earth is east west. I'm sorry, north south circumnavigation, which we don't see here and we don't see it on a sphere. Um, that should set off a red flag. The problem is that you don't understand map projections. On these map projections that are used by Flight Radar 24, you don't see as clear curves when you circumnavigate north to south. Another flight that claims to do that is Qantas. Uh, Qantas has a flight. Now there's only a handful of these flights that even make the claim, right? But even looking here at, the, at this site, if you were to Google this, uh, this flight, this Qantas flight, uh, Qantas DR-14, it, it clearly didn't go over the mass of Antarctica. So one of the things, hopefully, when you're researching this is you, you'll understand that our government does it too, and it's still accurate. You can represent a 3D um, spherical Earth in a one-dimensional flat map, right? So, and it's still accurate, right? For this flight to be, to truly have traversed, to, to have gone under the ball and back up the other side, it would have to go over the center. Because when you take this and you represent it in a flat map, it's it just skipped along the coastline, right? So let's let's look here and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll explain this. So I think every flight, I'm, I could be wrong about that, maybe, maybe not military flights, but just about every flight that happens in the world is recorded. And you can go look, at, look up their coordinates uh, from a flight track log. And this particular website is FlightAware, and you can look up QF14, which happened on the 5th of October, 2021, and it went from Buenos Aires to Darwin, Australia. And you can, they've shared the coordinates here. You can see that they didn't go over Antarctica. They clearly didn't go over the mass of it. They went a, a very long path here. They skimmed along the coast. If, if they did want to prove, uh, if this were a true uh, navigation over Antarctica, what you would do is you would fly due south and you would come out right here. And this is accurate. This, this, um, you know, this one dimensional representation of the globe, if you were to spherize it right here, would be connected to right over here. Um, this would all wrap back around. So this would be a much shorter flight, right? To just go straight due south and come out the other side, but they didn't do that. So th to claim this as a uh, proves the sphere earth it's that's a, a, a great misrepresentation if you plot a flight on google earth instead you will see a curve i don't know if flat earth coffee is dishonest or if he's stupid if you put in the route between sydney and buenos aires in google earth it looks like this. So the route makes perfect sense. The matte flat earth coffee are using is the Gleason map, the flat earth map. Yes, I'm well aware that some flat earth fools claims that that is not the flat earth map, but they can't provide a flat earth map. So we will stick to that one. Do this route make 
any sense at all on a flat earth? Of course not. Let's move on to another subject. All right, so another thing I want to talk about is celestial navigation, which is another proof of how we circumnavigate our Earth. So one more flat earther that thinks he's an expert in using six tenths. There's no need for a sphere. Um, we just use plane, uh, plane geometry, right? Which is, you can see represented here. This would be an example of plane geometry. You have a plane, you have a degree angle to a celestial body, right? Even in modern day videos, if you look up celestial navigation basics on YouTube, this is one of the top ones that came up. It's explained using this is this would be plain geometry. This is a uh, this is not spherical trigonometry. This is plain geometry, right? You're getting your angle to a celestial body um, from the from the apparent horizon, right? So you have the horizon, you have the angle to that celestial body, which gives you your distance, right? There's no need for a sphere. There's no you don't have to. Um, you don't have to make any other calculations than what's right there. We don't need to listen to any more of his rubbish because he have already proven that he don't have any experience or knowledge about navigation. All he does is repeating what he heard other flat earthers say. Flat earthers that also lack all experience and knowledge about the subject. These rubbish have been debunked so many times. As I said many times before, I'm an officer in the Navy. I was trained in navigation in the 80s. This is one of the military books used when I was trained in navigation. Navigation 2. Astronomical Navigation. This is the copyright uh, from the book. Copyright 1993, Marine Chief Stockholm, the book is published in collaboration with the Swedish Armed Forces Teaching Aid Center. And there we have two of the illustrations in the book. Both of them are showing dip angles and that you are calculating with dip angles and that the calculations are done on a globe. All navigation systems on a ship is based on a globe. The charts we are using are projections of a globe, our radar have a horizon, our radios have a horizon, our weapon system are using the horizon. I am a trained professional in navigation and none of the fools that flat earth coffee have learned navigation from know anything about navigation and have no experience. So let's hear what uh, Flat Earth and Kofi thinks are great sources for information. So in closing, I just want to say if you're out there and, and you're researching this subject, um, be careful where you go for your information. Uh, there's some good content on YouTube, but a YouTube search is useless. If you do a YouTube search, you're going to come up with like five people, maybe six. You're going to come up with uh, Professor Dave, number one. You're going to come up with Ryan Cox, Simon Dan, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, and Michelle Thaler, right? So it's uh, that's the anti-Flat Earth Army right there. But if you dig a little deeper, first find some good sources. Um, I, I'd be happy. I, I, from time to time, I'll share these sources. Um, Deep in the Rabbit Hole was one I shared. Um, Nathan Oakley, 1980, who's on YouTube, um, Jaronism, uh, there's a ton more, but they're going to be hard to find, but they will debunk their debunks, right? One thing you should never find ever is a debunk of a debunk. If you have someone like Neil deGrasse Tyson or uh, Brian Cox or Professor Dave using Eratosthenes, as one of their top evidences, you know there's a problem, right? You know there's a lie. Or if they're using boats going over a curve, if that's their best evidence, those are easily debunked. And another thing you should never see is when a when a reputable um, company or organization or broadcasting service like like PBS or National Geographic, you should never see anything they put out, especially if the point of it was to debunk flat Earth debunked and this has happened 
every time they've tried to debunk it. You can debunk their debunk, right? So that's a problem. Dig deeper, find some good resources, reach out to people in the community who are, um, and be careful because there are, um, there's controlled opposition out there. There's, there's uh, flatter society is a perfect example of that. That's, um, that's a joke. Nobody follows them. Nobody goes there. Um, they're, they're just there to make flat earth look like a joke. So hopefully you found this video info informational and hopefully you continue your journey until next time. Deep in the rabbit hole journeys and Nathan Oakley are good sources according to this fool. Please give me an example where Yernis have debunked a debunk. And Nathan Oakley, who loves his mute bottom, is someone tries to discuss the shape of the earth with him on his channel. He silenced them with his mute bottom and he has never done a debunk of anything. Today his tactic is not claiming what the flat earth model is. Oh dear. It's quite clear that flat earth and Kofi only repeats what they hear on other channels and he don't bother checking it. For example, the nonsense about navigation. He has obviously no own experience about it, but he trusts fools like Nathan Oakley. So far, 18 drones and 5 big power banks have been sent to Ukraine and hopefully I will be able to order one more drone next week. All this thanks to your help. You who watches my videos, members, super chats, thank you so much. And if you want to help me help Ukraine sending drones, uh, use PayPal if you want to donate. This was a bit longer than my normal content. Hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment so I know what you thought about it. Uh, I will be back Monday. Have a great weekend all. See you then. Bye.